All right, guys. It's time to do a little game of Spyro the Dragon, taking you 13 years into the past. This is 2011, and I'm filming this, and this game came out in 1998. Oops. My bad. New game right here. Second spot. So, yeah, like I said in my first video, if anybody wants to challenge me to a speed run, I'm available. But only during certain hours. I'm only 16 years old, so I still have to go to school. I currently reside in the United States of America. Alright, now it's just free nester. The only dragon you can't skip. At first I didn't know how to skip dragons, but now I do, and I didn't think you could. Actually, I kind of... I kind of thought you could skip, only skip dragons in the PAL version. I'm wearing an NTSC. And this might take a while, I'm on an emulator for this, remember that. But I, but I can pretty much guarantee you that it won't take as long as the first part of Spyro. The year of the dragon, because well, maybe hopefully I won't go, go on a wild gem chase trying to find like one or two stinking gems in a single level because I passed them. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna go free another dragon. Wait, let me just get that other gem, then I'll free the dragon. Alright, I just rescued Deblin. Oh, that dirty little... That dirty little gem robber. I missed I missed a gem behind me. <laughs> so let's just go back and get that one. So I don't have to go on a wild gem chase looking for it. Alright. Now I just rescued Tomas. Not Thomas because there's no H in it. That makes it Tomas. Alright, now I got 55 gems, 56, 57, 58, 59. Okay, just gotta find um, 41 more gems and then one more dragon. Oops, I always run into that problem. But the biggest problem I run into is with the flight levels where you have to, where you have to take down the obstacles. Oh crap. I find that a problem because it's so difficult with an emulator. Alright. Yeah, oh, and I just want to let you know that the emulator I'm using here is EPSXE. You find the best em which I find is the best emulator on the planet. Well, the best PlayStation emulator. Remember, it took me weeks to figure out how to work it. Now I know how. Oh no, wait, let me, let me, I just had to press the plus button twice, which, yeah. And in case you didn't know, uh, on the, on the keypad to the far right, two is X, I set it up like that, four is square, triangle eight, as, 
circle six. I get all these gems here and the extra life. I'm a little rusty on this game to tell you the truth. I used to have it on a console, but no, I don't anymore. I forgot which tunnel I didn't go through yet. Oh, there are no other tunnels I hadn't gone through yet. What was I thinking? They're back here. Uh, all right. I got all 100 gems, and I just rescued Argus. So how you like that? Less dragon and less the gems. Yeah, it, it only went up to 99 when I freed the dragon, but you can see right here, 100. Alright, just wanted to show you. Okay, so now... Uh, I go to Stone Hill. There's 100 gems in my pocket. <clears throat> and just like in Year of the Dragon, if I ever have to go on a wild gem chase, I'm going to not record until I find those gems. Because I don't want to bore you like this whole part's like finding one stinking gem. I mean, what in the hell would be wrong with me if I did that? You'd be thinking, oh my god, what's wrong with this guy? Okay, gotta take down these guys. Now I gotta fall down the well. I find the dragon. Wait, there's the, the oh, there's the chest box there. I thought the key was there. The strong, the strong box was there. I thought that was where the key was. Oops. Wait, no, I'll free you, dragon, whoever you are. Gavin is the next dragon. Alright, so that's five dragons. I'm halfway to being able to transport to peacekeepers. Best thing about this is you don't necessarily have to defeat any of the other bosses to get the nasty norg. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, come on. There's only one boss that's mandatory to defeat. Well, actually, you have to defeat all the bosses if you want to get 100% uh, gameplay, obviously. Ah, here we go. We're supposed to go here. There's an egg thief in this level, and I just rescued Gildas. I might have to start making my videos shorter because I'm on a shared computer. So from now on, oops. So from now on, I'm probably going to base my videos on one level. This will be the last 15 minute video I upload. After that, just base it all on one level and hope it doesn't go over 15 minutes. Come here, you egg thief. Where are you? Ah, uh, this treasure, I just need to collect it. One hundred, one hundred. Come on, 
on this. Get it. Oh, I'll go free that dragon first. Wait, first I gotta collect this treasure, then I free the dragon. I just rescued Aster. So how many dragons are in this level? I think it's four. Yeah, it's four. And there's 200 gems. And I just got myself an extra life. I got six lives. Okay, just gotta find the key to the... To the strong box in the... Okay, I just rescued Glindar, so that's the last of the dragons in this level. I know there's an egg thief in this level here, so I... Yeah. Alright. After I finish this level, take a break. Oh crap, not again. I hate when that happens. I just hate when I fall off that stinking ledge. Alright, egg thief, you're about to get spiroed. Oh, yes! I almost thought I wasn't gonna catch him on the first run around here. Ah! There's still gems up there, so I'm gonna try and get those. Hope I can get them all before the 15 minutes. Okay, I don't even know which way I'm going. Okay. Well, looks like we'll have to finish this level later. How many gems do I have? 33 gems to catch. I'm pretty sure they're all up here. No, wait. That's the key I'm looking for to get those, to get the gems in the strong box. There's another reason I hate this level. Not sure it's kinda easy. Alright, well, I guess we're stopping here then.